Category 5 TV with Hillary Rumble, Krista Wells, Eric Kidd, Rachel Zhu, and Robbie Ferguson. And now, here's a clip from Category 5 Technology TV. Brought to you by Freeplay Human Powered Devices, cat5.tv slash freeplay. If you run a website or you have uh, a, a web server somewhere in the world, uh, whether you're hosting websites, what, whatever it is that you're doing, I mean, a lot of us are, are interested, you know, maybe we've got a blog running mm -hmm. or, or something along those lines. Maybe I've got an FTP server running. Uh, maybe I just want to know, you know, is my email server reliable? Do I need to switch who my provider is? So there, there are a variety of different times that it seems appropriate to, to monitor a server. Um, the, certainly, there's the scenario of you know the IT guy who you know is is possibly running a small IT firm and wants to be able to monitor his client servers. You know these are actual you know say uh, um, like actual domain controllers, things like that, right? That are web accessible. Maybe find out if their client's uh, internet is up or down, things like that. So so it's important to have some form of monitoring service mm -hmm. running. There are amazing open source tools like Nagios or Nagios, depending on how you want to say it, uh, that is freely available for you to download and build a server and install it, but it's complicated. <laughs> it can be complicated to create scripts for that kind of monitoring system. It's fantastic, but it's complicated. So tonight I'd like to actually go through the setup of a, a tool that is just going to be absolutely easy breezy for us to get up and running on our, our like systems. That. Yeah. So in the chat room, let us know, do you administer a server? Do you have a website where you'd really love to know, you know, how reliable is my service? Do, do I have any downtime? How much downtime do I have? Is that something that, uh, that would be of a benefit to you? And that's what we're going to learn tonight. So I'm going to bring up this website. Alrighty. First of all, I'm going to actually log into my own email here so that we can receive email when we sign up for this, because we're going to do this in real time. So okay. you're going to see how easy it is to, to actually get this set up. Good idea. Very good idea. OK. I'm going to go to a website, and feel free to follow along. It's called uptimerobot.com. This service is fantastic. It is free, OK? It allows us, pardon me, it allows us to monitor HTTP, HTTPS. Uh, it allows us to ping our servers. It allows us to uh, to scan ports. Not a port scan, but actually just see that the ports are, are up and running. So good for IMAP or uh, SMTP, POP3, things like that. So email, right? Mm -hmm. uh, FTP is on port 21. So if you want to know if your FTP server is up, you can check if port 21 is responding. Um, also, it allows us to check for keywords. So with a little bit of PHP know-how or any... <laughs> uh, uh, server-side uh, programming language, for example, you could just put a little bit of keyword action into that website, and uh, it would set off an alarm if a certain keyword is found, for example. You, uh, with, uh, for free, okay? For Up free. Uptime Robot will allow you to monitor up to 50 sites. And I'm not talking websites. I'm talking that could be your client's website, your website, your blog, your personal website, and... Okay, we're up to four, I think, now. Wow. And sites also include your computer uh, network at home. Let's ping it from the outside world and make sure that you've got internet access. Hmm. It could be a client site. It could be, like I say, it could be, is their uh, IMAP on their exchange server, is it responding? Because, well, if it ever went down, everybody in the corporation's iPhones just stopped working, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's important as an administrator to know this kind of stuff. So back at this website, it's fantastic. It allows you to send push notifications to your iDevice or to your Mac computer. It allows you to receive email, SMS, uh, RSS feeds, or even Twitter messages uh, for those different kinds of alerts that are going to come in. So let's, all we're going to do is just click on Start Now up at the top here. I'm going to give it our, our name here. Category 5 TV, enter your email address, demo at category5.tv in this case. And I just made up a silly little password. Do I want to be informed about new features and updates? In my case, I'll leave that on. Might be good. Here we go. Okay, successfully entered, uh, successfully registered. That's all it is. Okay? I better write down that <laughs> password. I, write down the I password. Use, yeah. Don't want to forget. <laughs> Make sure your password is real strong. You don't want to use passwords that can be uh, brute forced or 
otherwise compromised. We've talked all about that, eh, Hill? <laughs> oh, yeah. And there I go. I've already got an email here from them. Account activation. To start monitoring your websites, please activate your account by visiting this link. There we go. Your account is now activated. You can start using Uptime Robot. Let's sign in. Use your email address. You can tell it to remember you if uh, this is going to be you know, on just your own personal computer. Successfully signed in, and there we go. So right off the bat, we're able to start setting up these monitor monitors uh, mm -hmm. and the alerts that uh, coincide with those monitors as well. And again, you can do up to 50. So let's get started with something that is going to be fairly practical. I'm going to go Add New up here, select Type. I'm going to go HTTP or HTTPS, so this will monitor both secure and non-secure. So friendly name, Category 5 Website. So I'm going to see if the Category 5 website is up and running, www.category5.tv. Under Optional Settings, you can set Authentication if it requires uh, HT Password, for example. Who do you want alerts to go to? Now, in my case, so far, I only have my email address set up, but I'm, I'm going to set it to send to that, and I'm going to add the monitor to that. Instantly, it's going to start monitoring my website. There it is. So status is 100% uptime. It's green at this point. Now I want to know, you know, how's my email working? So I can go to TCP ports. I can go my email, or this could be my client email because you're going to be using a, a URL, right? So in this case, it'll be, let's say, mail.category5.tv. And we're going to scan it for IMAP. Send alerts to demo at category5.tv and go. There we go. See how quickly we're able to set this up, eh? Mm -hmm. There, 100% uptime on my email. Keyword checking, as I was describing, you can actually tell it to look for keywords, whether they exist or do not exist. That's interesting from a web programmer standpoint. And then, of course, pinging, just to see if things are up and running. So in that case, I can go, you know, category 5 is responding. So a ping is simply going to see that that server is responding. It doesn't tell you if the, if the website's up, because Apache could be turned off, Apache could be crashed, but a ping will just mm -hmm. tell you that it is responding to the web. So that's a good way to test things like if your internet connection is up, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, And again, you can intermix all these different kinds of tests. So I can add more TCP ports, right? And you can go, you know, is my web server port 80? right up and running and this could be whatever website this could be my own personal website right so this is going to tell me if apache is responding on port 80 add my monitor okay and then well what do we do if we're using a non standard port or whatever else, or if we're using a piece of software that we want to monitor where the port isn't there, we actually have the ability to set a custom port to monitor. So this would be a case where, you know, we're using uh, port 1022, you know, or whatever, 1234. If you're using that port for something, you can actually scan that, you can name it, you can tell it where to find it, whether it be a URL or an IP. Now that, in conjunction with something like uh, DIN DNS to allow your dynamic um, IP address to receive a host name is fantastic because you can set it up to automatically, you know, if you tell it to go through as a URL your DIN DNS address, you can check your home network, you can check your, your home internet services up and running. If you've got an FTP server or something running at home, you can double check that stuff. So do check it out. It's called Uptime Robot. It's available, again, free of charge and will allow you to monitor up to 50 sites, whether those be computers or whatever else they be, websites, services, anything at all. Check it out, uptimerobot.com. Cool. This is Category 5 Technology TV. I just realized we haven't actually introduced ourselves. Hi. Hello. I'm Robbie. I'm Hillary. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And, and we're here on Category 5. And we're here to answer your questions. We sure are. And do our, do our thing. Do our thing the free, awesome way. Yep. That's what I have Any to say Any comments about that. about that in the chat room at this point? 
we'll watch for them too. So uh, Garby's just saying, well, I did not have a way to monitor these things, and now I do. Now you do. Awesome. See? And as I was saying, it's it, it's just there. It works. It's fantastic. I've got <laughs> it that it goes through to my mobile device as an email. So it goes right into my inbox, and it dings me because it, you know, there's a new mail. It's fantastic. So. Do you have any sites that Raven you Raven Lord says, thank you, I needed that. I was going to say, do you have any, like, maybe, I don't know, a junk site, something you have that isn't really functional that you could like show delete? us that it will detect it if it's not working? You know what I mean? The viewer map, okay? We're going to knock this offline for just a moment. Map.cat5.tv. All right, send alerts. Add monitor. Okay, so map.cat5.tv. The website is up. This is live viewer locations for people who are on our website okay. viewing the show right now. Hello to Israel. We just had somebody sign on oh. from Holon, Israel. Very cool. Okay, so that's up. So my monitor should show me that the viewer map is 100% up. Now I'm going to do something kind of crazy. For those of you, <laughs> I just showed them the map and now they're, they're, everybody's going to go to it. I'm going to break the website because I have the power to do that. Break the internet. Dead. Not found. Now, I wonder what's going to happen to uptime. I don't know whether it responds to a not found because that's a little different than Than, an actual server offline, right? Mm -hmm. Now, again, I could use like a keyword, but we'll we'll see if this does anything to that. And I'll put it back after. I wonder if I can just refresh, if I can force it. It does automatically change every five minutes. Oh, look. Seems off. Current status is up. New status, it seems off. We will recheck quickly. So it looks like it, it's detected it. Oh, look at that. It has. It's gone yellow. So we'll wait and see if I actually receive an email here. Well, which it, it would just push it right out, right? Yeah, yeah. And they detected that quick time. Very, very quickly. So. Hark. Uptime robot. The monitor is currently down. Wow, that was like instant. Instantaneous. Just like that. Unbelievable. It worked. I'm a believer. Now you know. Now we know the rest of the story. So now if I put it back online, see what's neat is that you actually get these graphs at the end too. Oh. So you can kind of you can get an overview for all of your downtime. I better put the map back because everyone wants it now. (laughs) Everyone's like, where's the map? Where's the map? Where did it go? There, it's back. So it's going to report that Well, let's see if this knows it's back. I think it will. It literally just changed as I changed the camera. It knew. Wild stuff. Smart. So smart. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.